all doing? Welcome to the Philosophy 101 show. I'm your host, Pris Kamwangi. In our topic today, I will be discussing about what is reality in a nutshell. Well, according to my opinion, whatever that is an individual perceives uh, in his mind to be true, that becomes his or her reality. Knowing what is there, uh, knowing what is true and what is false, these are central needs for everyone. Yeah. In this episode, we will examine whether it is reasonable that we can know reality or whether our entire process of knowing is flawed and misguided. Anselm was a Benedictine monk and philosopher who served as the Archbishop of Canterbury. He was among the first to publish on the ontological argument for God. This argument asserted that if we define God as the greatest thing conceivable, then God must exist. For if God does not exist, then the God we think of is not the greatest thing conceivable. Okay. Anselm thought that a God who was in our mind and truly existed would be greater than a God um, we merely think of. So our thought of God as the greatest must mean his existence. In 1998, the multi-award-winning film The Truman Show was released. Starring Jim Carrey, the movie used both humor and satire to deliver a thought-provoking attack on reality television shows. In the process, the film raised uh, questions about life, truth, and reality. The movie has since been subject of many essays on why we believe what we believe, existentialism, and simulated reality. The plot revolves around a reality television show based on the life of Truman, a.k.a. Jim Carrey. The reality show was a worldwide phenomenon that began with Truman in his mother's womb, and uh, he lived his entire life unaware that he was living in a television-created environment where every person he encountered was really an actor and where the producer was orchestrating each scene for the benefit of ratings and the viewing audience. By the time Truman turned 30, he began to have suspicions about reality. Ultimately, to the director's frustration, Truman decided to journey beyond the limits of the bubble built by the production company. Up to that point, Truman had lived his entire life in an echo bubble constructed and maintained by the production company with cameras hidden everywhere. Through various mechanisms, the director kept Truman from venturing outside his world as he as uh, it existed in the, uh, in the bubble. As Truman tried to leave his city, the director managed to stop Truman from leaving, staging everything from traffic jams, forest fires, and even a reported nuclear meltdown. He finally escaped by taking a small boat to the edge of the point, uh, painted dome that enveloped the production bubble and the boat reached the edge of the enclosed area and punctured the wall that was painted to be the sky. Along the wall, two men found stairs and uh, she went down the stairs uh, and uh, stepped out from his wall that he mistook for reality and his entire life and into the real world. In the movie, two men faced ultimate questions. What is real? Were his relationships real or manufactured? Was his world real or manufactured? Was the news real or manufactured? Did his actions matter? Was love genuine, as original as the movie was? These are not questions that were invented by or unique to this movie. They are questions that extend throughout history and uh, still drive in certain circles today. Some might say that today there are perhaps more ways and reasons to doubt reality than ever, and the questions are certainly ones that merit discussion. 
Plato's theory of forms reflects the English translation of the Greek words eidos and idea as form. It is generally capitalized in past to show the particular meaning being assigned to it. In English, we often think of form as the visible shape of an item. That is not the way Plato used the word. For Plato, forms were not something visible, nor were they merely ideas. They were non-physical, eternal, unchangeable, never, uh, never dying, true forms that manifested in various physical entities like a shadow on the wall. What is truth? For some of us, the reaction might be, why are those goofy people asking questions and making those suggestions? Normal people know what is real and uh, what is real is what and how we live and eat and who we know and so forth. But is it? Is it not fair? Is it fair to ask what is truth and what is real? The inability to locate and define truth has given rise to the disregard of science and other objective explanation of reality. For many, reality becomes a subjective experience, meaning they try to define reality and truth based on what the world means to them alone. And uh, in conclusion, I'd like to say that there's so much at play here and we have our own beliefs about reality and truth and ethics we believe appropriate for life yeah so with these critical issues at play how does this quest for reality fit with god please comment about your own opinions uh in the comment section